ask the Minister for Children and Youth Affairs to live with and the community managed not for profit child care service providers with specific reference to negotiation for funding agreements and funding rules in the context of reason compliance audits by public. That we have managed to increase substantially our investment in child care over the last few years. And I want to continue increasing this investment, but in doing so, we must have an appropriate level of oversight and accountability. Um, subsidies for all early learning and care and school aged child care programs are paid based on the level of attendance of a child. These rules differ slightly across different schemes, reflecting the varied needs and circumstances of families. My department has been proactive in communicating these rules with service providers through our monthly e-signs, general guidance, letters, and discussions with representative bodies. The 30 child care committees nationally have also given support in this area. Pubble administers these child care programs on behalf of my department and carry out compliance visits. Um, findings of non-compliance may affect a service financially. But I believe our approach to protecting exchequer funding is balanced appropriately with the supports we provide to community services to enable them to continue to deliver in a sustainable and high quality service. Uh, my department has is worked closely with Hubble in developing processes and policies to prepare for any potential sustainability impact of correcting the non-compliance. I appreciate that community child care services provide a critical service to children and families across the country. Um, so significant supports, including financial supports, are available to them through a case management system to bring them onto a more sustainable footing while being necessarily compliant with the scheme rules. This includes a strand of funding which will be available to the services facing the most serious threats to their sustainability due to CCS overclaims, again, uh, subject to a financial um, assessment. Uh, Publis case management team have aimed to contact all of the affected community services to engage with them concerning any support uh, they may require, and that's included one-to-one -one engagement to ensure that services are aware of the supports, including financial supports available to them. Uh, Minister, again, I just re-emphasise the recent compliant audits by Pabla are causing great distress on the ground among community managed and operated child care providers. And I have this first hand from Kikara Kikeni. Uh, as I said, I've been contacted by several providers on the ground and my constituency of Kara Kikeni. And they say that the recent loss of funding arising from Pabla's compliance reports will result in staff reductions, loss of service and parental support in the sector. And that's coming from first hand to me from the people that's providing the service. So it's ten they're telling me that they do not get more, they will lose the service, and we will lose the service, uh, uh, important service that we're getting. Are you satisfied, Minister, that the sector will not sustain mass closures and a reduction in services as many for not for profit, community managed, and operated childcare providers are now, re as are now reporting? Directors of service on the ground and members of the Carlo Kilkenny Community Child Care Forum have communicated to my office that they are very disappointed with the lack of engagement between your department and the service providers. I would be interested to hear from this response for you as Minister. I said again, I'm being told one thing, you're telling me another thing here. There's something wrong somewhere in between. I'm and I, I ask your Minister to take this on board, and I'm pleading with that. On board, Deputy, uh, and I, I will investigate, yes, uh, what, what, what you've just raised there in relation to Carlo Kilkenny. Um, I, I'm, you're, you're saying to me that they're, they're telling you that they're going to lose the service in light of the compliance uh, audit. Uh, I hope I, 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 uh, I, I just expect that the deputy does accept the basic principle that um, you know audits are required, uh, etc. Uh, and I've indicated that uh, my department has spent a lot of time supporting uh, service providers uh, to ensure that they are aware of what it, ways in which um, what is required in order to comply. Having said that, uh, there are obviously uh, services that, uh, for whatever the reasons are, have been found uh, wanting in that regard. And I'm also saying I understand that the supports are there, and even particularly most recently, uh, financial supports if required in order for their sustainability. You are saying to me, though, that that hasn't reached or that that's not part of what the County Child Care Committee, and I will investigate that. So. 
penny we have here on because I've been told at ground level that uh, these sounds will be lost, which is to the community, which is children are in need. Would you meet a group from Carlock and Kenny just to explain the situation? I'll ask you that. Would you, uh, would you meet a, a deputation from Carlock and Kenny so we can thrash out one to one? Thank you very much. Thank you, Minister.